so hey guys, um, today I'm bringing you, I think this is my second empties video. And as you can see, my empties are overflowing and that is the reason why I'm doing this today. So my first empty is this Island Coconut VO5 Moisturizing Shampoo and I really liked this and I really like the scent of it. Um, I felt like it washed my hair really well. I don't have any problems with VO5. My hair kind of just accepts whatever shampoo you use on it. So this is from the Dollar Tree and I didn't repurchase this. The next thing that I have is VO5's Shampoo and Conditioner in Kiwi Lime Squeeze and I did repurchase these. This is like my favorite scent as of right now. Um, it's just really, I don't know, I feel like this scent stays longer in your hair throughout the day and I just really like the way it smells. I don't know how much more you can say about a shampoo and conditioner. My next empty is a shaving cream that I got from the Dollar Tree also. It is the raspberry one for sensitive skin. And this is in a different bottle than the one that I got prior to it. It was in a, like a taller, skinnier bottle. And I thought this one had more product in it. But after looking at both of them, I saw that they were equal product. But this one, I feel like they put more air or something in this one because it went so much quicker than the other one and I felt like they changed the formula or something because after you put it in your hand it almost was like it dissipated as you put it on your leg like I did after I put it on my leg I didn't see much foam left there so I think I'm not going to repurchase this but I'm going to try a different one from the Dollar Tree so I'll let you know how that goes. Next empty is also from the Dollar Tree it's a facial wash that is enriched with vitamin E and green tea extract. It's by the April name brand. It did not repurchase this. Um, I felt like it smelled just like green tea, so that was refreshing in the morning, but I felt like it didn't really clean my face all that well. Um, I don't know, I just feel like the April name brand is like a hit or miss. Sometimes you get really good things from them and sometimes it's really crappy. I think the April name brand is actually the Dollar Tree yeah, it's the Dollar Tree name brand, so sometimes it's not that great. I really liked the scent of it and the consistency was good, but I felt like it didn't really wash my face that well. My next empty is Herbal Essences Body Envy. It's a volumizing mousse in level 4, so it's the, I guess, maximum hold. Um, I really like this a lot. I used it to scrunch my hair, like, all the time. I'm thinking about going out and getting another one. Uh, my grandma gave me this one. I guess she bought it and she didn't like it, so it got passed down to me. Um, I don't know the price on it, so I'm not sure if... It still feels like there's some in there, but it's not. Um, I'm not sure if it's like an outrageous price or if they still have it, because sometimes she holds on to products for a really long time. Um, but the smell of this was amazing. That's really what made me like it so much was how great it smelled. So I would consider repurchasing this. I'm going to look into Empty it. is airbrush nails and these are from the Dollar Tree. I think these were the clear ones that just had the white tip. Um, these don't come with glue. You have to buy the glue separately. And I put these on and then I painted the color that I wanted over them. And I liked them a lot. I liked the nails as a whole. Um, the nail glue did not work very well from the Dollar Tree, so I would say get the nails from the Dollar Tree if you want to paint over them. They don't have that many, like, a selection of nice nails to choose from, um, but they worked really well. I did, since I do have smaller fingers, I did have to kind of shape them a couple of the bigger ones to fit my smaller nails. So that was the only hassle, but as of that, I would repurchase these and use them my again. Next empty is this Invisible Solid Secret um, deodorant and it is in the scent of violet. This isn't actually empty, like it still has deodorant in there but it's like dried up so I can't use it anymore. I really do not like the scent of this. I think I got this sent to me um, by Secret a really long time ago so I was cleaning off my shelf and found this. I not going to repurchase this. My next empty is an up and up moisturizer that I got from Target. It is the dual treatment moisturizer that's oil free. I use this every day. I already repurchased another one. Um, it's not much to say about it. 
I'm not super impressed with it, but moisturizers are really expensive, so this one is still like $7. I need to find a better moisturizer. <laughs> If you have any moisturizers that you absolutely love and you think I should check out, leave them in a comment below. So my next empty is another deodorant. This one's by Dove and it's the Ultimate Go Fresh um, Revive and it's in the pomegranate lemon scent. I like this a lot. I thought it worked really well and I probably went, will end up repurchasing this after I'm done with my other two deodorants that I currently have. So um, it said that it stays on skin and not clothes and I had no problem with this like smearing on my clothes or anything. So I really, really liked this one and I like the scent a lot. My next isn't really an empty. I threw it in here because I just wanted to throw it in um, for a review, but it's still fully, extremely full. It's the NYC Color Extreme Lip Glider Lip Gloss and this one's in Big Apple Red. I got this from the Dollar Tree and it is so sticky when you put it on your lips that it's ridiculous. I can't even wear it. So I threw it in here just to kind of throw a review in with it um, because I really really dislike it and I got this from the Dollar Tree I don't remember if I said that or not so do not purchase the NYC lip color extreme lip glider that's in a, t a long tube in the color Big Apple Red it smells really good like really really good but it, it is a horrible horrible consistency nice. next is a press on manicure and this is in the color Evil Queen. I liked these so much. They're like a gray, dark gray holographic color. Um, I didn't have a problem with these falling off. They stayed on for I think about two days straight, but I did pick up another one in another color, or I had another one sent to me. Yeah, I had another one sent to me by the Impress Company, and they literally lasted like two hours, so I don't know what the difference was but I think these are okay if you're going to like a wedding or something like that that you just want to put on quick fake nails for a couple hours then I would say that these would be okay but I have no idea how people make these last up to a week like you must not shower or do anything with your hands because I don't understand how these could last up to a week but this is my favorite color and I got these around Halloween time last year and I just found them so I'm throwing them away. My next empty is one of my favorite glitter nail polishes by LA Colors. It doesn't have a name on it. I bought it in like a package so it didn't come with the little strip on the side with the name but it is like a sparkly blue and purple color mixed together blue purple and pink and it would just looked so pretty over um, a black base coat it made it almost look like a galaxy or something I liked it a lot but it finally dried all the way up so I've been trying to keep my eye out for another one I got this at the Dollar Tree but I haven't seen another one another one of this color out recently. Next empty is um, a sample they got sent to me it's the Olay Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging Micro Sculpting Cream Moisturizer this stuff is like a miracle in a bottle. I absolutely love it, but it's like $30 for a little glass container of it, which I find kind of crazy. But I didn't have to use as much as I use with my Up and Up moisturizer, so I might end up getting this. And I also have like a $3 off coupon that came with this, so I'm thinking of getting it, but I'm just not sure yet. What I have is a candle, and it's burned all the way down. I'm ready to depot it so I can use this glass for something else. I don't know. I like using my candle glasses for stuff. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and this one was like apple cinnamon, I think, and it wasn't like a Dollar Tree name brand one. It was actually like the Glade knockoff one. They come in like a little box, I think. Anyhow, it had a really nice glass jar, but it didn't have a lid. I really like the candles with lids, um, but this one didn't burn too quickly, and I actually really liked it a lot. The next candle that I have burned all the way down to the bottom is the Luminescence Vanilla Scented Candle, and this one is um, also from the Dollar Tree, and I think Luminescence is the Dollar Tree names brand that they have for candles. Um... I really really like these I like to use them to hold like my earrings and stuff I just think it's a cute jar to reuse so I need to clean this out and reuse it for something but I really liked this smell these candles do burn a little bit faster if you want something that really 
smells just like this. They have the same scent in tarts. So if you really like the candle and you have a tart burner, you should check the tarts. And my last empty is an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black. And I use this every day. Love it. I've repurchased it like 5 million times. I don't have a problem with them. They don't like wear off throughout the day. But I do use the um, e.l.f. like eyelid primer. So that probably helps it stay on. But I really like it. I've had no problems with it. Um, so yeah, this is my last one. Now my empties box is all empty and I can start collecting empties for my third video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.